In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens versus the Sigma 30 millimeter lens for Canon. I have both lenses. I'm currently shooting on the 18 to 35 millimeter lens. This was the first lens I bought, like when I was researching how to get into video production and videography, I didn't know what camera to decide because I was confused about all the technical jargon on YouTube. So I reached out to my professional photographer and asked him what camera should I use. He told me to get a Canon, that Canon has good colors. That's how I became a Canon user. So it wasn't based on the research, it was based on the recommendation of a professional. And I would recommend Canon to anyone because the color is just really good. Having said that, when it came to lenses, I did more research and I realized that the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter is very, very good for video. And that was like the, the recommendation. But one problem that I faced with the Sigma was it was, it's very heavy and it's not a lens that you can just take out on the street and start recording and it doesn't have image stabilization. So I was really concerned and I wanted a smaller lens. I wanted something that I could take out and it would be very, very comfortable, not very heavy. It's like carrying a huge lens around the streets of London. So when I did research, I came across the Canon 50mm f1.8 lens. I got that one. And then I discovered the Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens. The Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens is a very, very fast lens extremely sharp at night time when you're shooting night photography or night video, but it has the same problem that the 18 to 35 millimeter has. Both lens don't have image stabilization. And that was a problem that I really struggled with. And then to solve that problem of image stabilization, I had to go and get the Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter because that has image stabilization. So, I then had three lenses. So I'm like, okay, I have the Sigma 18 to 35, I have the 30 millimeter F1.8, and I have the 17 to 50 millimeter F2.8. So basically what I then realized is I cannot have both 18 to 35 and 30 millimeter lens because they basically do the same thing. Although the 30 millimeter F1.4 has a faster F-stop, it's really, really good in low light condition, but it's just one focal lens, it's a prime lens. But the 18 to 35 millimeter is more than a, it's a prime lens as well, but a prime lens with multiple stops in terms of range. So although it's 18 to 35, but it's a, it has a constant F-stop of 1.8 which makes it the best and ideal lens for videography. So when it came time to decide between the 18 to 35 and 30 millimeter lens, I had to make that choice, which lens do I keep? And I decided to keep the 18 to 35 millimeter and return the 30 millimeter F1.8. Bear in mind, when I say return the 30 millimeter F1.4, I return it five times. What I mean is I bought it on Amazon, used it because Amazon allows you a window where if you don't like something, you can return it. I used it. I thought, whoa, I made a wrong decision. I'm going to get it again. And I kept returning it five times. At no point in time did I ever return the Sigma 18 to 35. So if you're struggling to decide between the 18 to 35, and a 30 millimeter, my recommendation, this video is not sponsored, my recommendation is that you should go with the 18 to 35 millimeter F1.8. So why would I recommend the 18 to 35 millimeter over the 30 millimeter Sigma lens? The number one reason is because you have multiple zoom ranges. You can, this lens is literally like four lenses packed in one. It's literally an 18 millimeter lens, a 24 millimeter lens. And when I say this, I'm saying it's multiple prime lenses. So you have prime lenses of 18, 24, 22, 35, even 30 millimeter in one single lens. Although the price is double that of the 30 millimeter F1.8, you are just getting one focal range at that. If you're getting the 30 millimeter 1.4 lens, I wouldn't recommend it. And another reason why I wouldn't recommend the 30 millimeter F1.4 over the Sigma 18 to 35 is because they're both the same lenses. 
they both don't have image stabilization. So if you're really looking to outdoor shooting and all the stuff like that, you need to consider getting a lens with image stabilization, which is why I have two Sigma lenses at the moment. I use the 18 to 35 for indoor static, even outdoor videos, but it's static. But when I want to do like run and gun hand, um, freestyle video recording, I use the lens with image stabilization. So it's pointless to get the 30 millimeter f1.8, although it's very fast and it's a perfect lens, but if you have to decide between the 18 to 35 and the 30 millimeter, I would recommend you get the 18 to 35 millimeter lens. It's double the price, but it's worth it because it is a monster of a lens. And also, the most important thing to consider is with the 18 to 35, I have the flexibility of adjusting my frame and my composition without moving the camera because if I'm shooting a video, I don't have the flexibility in terms of moving around and stuff like that. I just set my camera and then I can zoom if it's an 18 millimeter frame that I want. I zoom to that. If it's not, I crop it. I use the lens to crop and get my composition. With a 30 millimeter lens, I'm a bit restricted in terms of where and how I can use the lens. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say, but in terms of frame and composition, you have more options with the 18 to 35 millimeter and you just have the 30 millimeter lens just has one option because it's just a prime lens at 30 millimeter. This is a very short video to tell you if you're thinking of deciding between the 18 to 35 and the 30 millimeter. My recommendation is to get the 18 to 35 millimeter. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, share and subscribe. I'll be releasing more video marketing uh, videos in the future. And also if you have any questions and comments or recommendations to other videos or other questions you'd like to know, put them in the description below and I'll do my best to answer.